David Cobb is on the line with us, one of my favorite people, one of my heroes, a man who ran for president of the United States on the Green Party ticket, an attorney, an activist, working with MoveToAmend.org, the organization that says, yes, we should amend the Constitution to say that people are uh, corporations are not people and money is not speech. And David, uh, first of all, welcome back to the program. Well, thank you so much, Tom. And i got to say, it's an honor to be here while you're doing a pledge drive for Free Speech TV, because... I know as an engaged citizen that having access to actual media that is not part of the filter of the ruling elite is so important. So I want to say I've already made a contribution to Free Speech TV, and I'm going to be encouraging folks who are interested in the move to Men Coalition to please make that same contribution oh, that's as great. well. That's great. Thank you, David. Um, move to Amend.org, though, you have a new amendment. Do I have that right? Well, what you have is the amendment concept that you and I and others have been talking about for a long time, the actual language with no loopholes that will make it clear corporations are not persons, they do not have any inherent inalienable constitutional rights, and money is not speech, so that it can be regulated by local, state, or federal government in the electoral system so that we can ensure the integrity and to protect our electoral process. Okay, now in in my book, Unequal Protection, I actually quote, I cite, I reprint the original um, uh, amendment that you that you had it moved to amend. I, th- I thought it was just the best out there, and and now you've got a new improved version. You wanna you wanna read it to us or share it with us? Well, I don't have it on front of my screen because I'm okay. on the, the sky screen with you, but I can okay. tell you in a nutshell, it is online at move to amend dot org. And I want to encourage your viewers and listeners, Tom, to please go to that website because we want help naming it, which is to say, do you prefer the People's Amendment? Do you prefer the Democracy Amendment? Uh, Do you prefer some other kind of amendment? We're really looking for feedback, uh, and we would love to actually hear from your listeners and viewers about that. Okay. David, I I have good news and bad news. What's that? Um, The good news is, you know, I'm trying to get there. In fact, hot, it just popped up. Uh, the the bad news is I thought we'd crashed your site because <laughs> it, it it took all <laughs> you that. You've done it before. You have done your li- your viewers and listeners have done it before. I'm happy to say we invested in significant upgrades because of your show. Okay, well that's good to know. Um, so let's see here. I'm on the home page. Uh, a lot of the graphics still haven't lo- loaded. Um, and the click thing the thing that I would click is what sign sign the mission. Well, uh, no, just, just scroll, down, just scroll and, down, and it should actually be on the front page. Uh, the, the language of it is not. Okay. Well, it, it, uh, I think I've it, crashed it, your it, site. Yeah, or if it is, it's in a graphic that's not loading. Okay, that, so. that could be the case. But I will say that go to the to, to move to amend.org. That yeah. language should might, be up. And you might want to wait five minutes. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> that could be the case. The good news is, Tom, that we have the language that is clear, it's unequivocal, and it includes specifically money is not speech, which right. is what, as you well know, is necessary because. Even if we completely abolish corporate personhood, I don't want to allow the the Koch brothers to continue to spend unlimited amounts of their personal money right. to convert now, the electoral process. Now, David, there's there's other groups out there and other people and and you know other talk show hosts and TV shows and and lawyers and whatnot um, uh, running around with books and 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 campaigns to say get the money out, get the get the money out of politics. Why is that not enough? Well, Tom, as you well know, and you uh, outline in your seminal book, Unequal Protection, the reality is that corporations and their lawyers have not just used political contributions. They use the doctrine of corporate person to overturn environmental laws, public health laws, worker protection laws, public safety laws. Getting the money out is obviously an important and critical part. It has to include that. But if we just get the money out of politics, we'll still allow the loophole of corporations overturning 
are democratically enacted laws that don't have anything to do with the First Amendment or anything to do with the corporate expenditure of money in election. Any, any so, thoughts on how we can engage these folks? I mean, I, I, Lawrence Lessig and I did a thing for the Coffee Party in New York about a year ago, and it ended up being a debate between him and me. And I felt very uncomfortable about that. The guy's a progressive, and he's trying to accomplish something. But he was, you know, saying, oh, we just need to get the money out of politics. And I'm saying, no, we need to get the personhood out of corporations, and then the money out of politics will follow. And and how can we engage that? They're not. It's not even like arguing with the Republicans. It's 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 people on our side. How how do we engage them? Well, the way I've done successfully, Tom, is to to take the approach. It's both and. Yes, mm-hmm. we need to get the personhood out of corporations, and we got to get the money out of politics. Right. Think of it this way, Tom. When it comes to legislative efforts, I support disclosure, I support shareholder actions, I support publicly financed elections, I support any number of legislative enactments. But when it comes to a constitutional amendment to correct this out-of-control court, the, the judicially active court that is creating out of whole cloth these legal doctrines, we really are only going to get one shot at something that actually comes out of Congress. So it has to be done right. And you and I and your listeners and viewers know the importance of abolishing corporate personhood and of eliminating the doctrine that money is speech. We combine those two things together, and we have the foundation for a genuine democracy movement in the United yeah. States of America. I absolutely agree. And, and I want to you know, figure out a way to embrace Lawrence Lessig and, and Dylan Radigan and all those others who are, who are focusing on the money, appropriately so, and... Uh, do this move to amend because we, we've got to do this whole thing move to amend.org is the website and if you don't get through real fast right now don't forget to come back to it over the weekend when you when you get some spare time david cobb thank <laughs> yes, you so much thanks so much Tom. thanks for all you do